Ever since Tesla revolutionized the electric vehicle industry with the launch of Tesla cars and trucks, we've been witnessing the industry grow ever since. Nowadays, almost every major car manufacturer has launched its own electric variant and will continue to do so. However, one type of vehicle industry in particular is still growing and will soon revolutionize how we commute. If you haven't guessed it yet, it's the electric motorcycle industry. Continue watching as today's video is all about the $6 billion electric motorcycle industry. If it's your first time here, then consider subscribing to the channel as we frequently upload videos just like this one. Electric motorcycles are a revolutionary form of transportation whose benefits are widely recognized. They are more than luxury vehicles as they have numerous practical benefits that make them a better alternative to traditional motorcycles. When compared with conventional motorcycles, electric motorcycles are cost-effective, eco-friendly, easier to maintain, and offer a better traveling experience. These benefits make them a better option for all types of users. Unlike the electric car industry, electric motorcycles date way back to World War II when Myrtle Williams invented a two-wheel electric motorcycle that towed a single-wheel trailer. He felt the need for this bike as the people of the United States had to deal with fuel rationing during World War II. Due to this vehicle's popularity, Williams started to make more such vehicles in his garage and in 1946 named it the Marketeer Company. The first practical electric motorcycle was introduced in 2006 when Ben Gulak patented the Uno. Gulak, along with his brother, developed a unicycle-looking street bike that resembled a motorbike but was more compact and maneuverable. Gulak came up with the idea for this motorcycle while he was on a trip to China with his family and experienced the sheer amount of pollution caused by motorcycles there. There he came up with the idea of creating a motorcycle that could run on electricity. He spent quite a bit of time researching and building the motorcycle, and after a while, he was able to create a motorcycle that could run on electricity and was the first of its kind. This motorcycle was so revolutionary that it was featured on the front page of Popular Science's list of 2008 Invention Awards. Until 2009, electric motorcycles were considered a myth, as there wasn't a model which could completely replace the traditional combustion engine bike. However, things changed when Zero launched its Zero S, which was the first commercial electric motorcycle to have all the essential features, usability, and speed of a regular combustion engine motorcycle. With the Zero S, Zero Motorcycles claimed that it would have an expected travel range of 50 miles on a full charge and a top speed of 70 miles per hour. They also claimed that the motor is rated at 22 kilowatts and the battery could be recharged using a standard 120 volt or 240 volt plugs. The 2009 Zero S was well received by the audience and people had started taking more interest in the bikes developed by the company. In 2014, Zero launched the 2014 Zero S with some minor changes and battery improvements to enhance its performance. In their 2015 Zero S, Zero Motorcycles added the highly anticipated ABS brake system to improve its stability and safety. Another key contributor to the electric motorcycle industry is Energica. Founded in Modena, the home of Ferrari, Energica is another electric motorcycle company specializing in high-tech electric superbikes. They mass-produce the Ego, which is one of the fastest electric superbikes in the world. It can reach a top speed of 60 miles per hour in just a mere 2.6 seconds. Many people consider Energica the Ferrari of the electric motorcycle industry as it specializes in high-performance vehicles. Another prominent company in the electric motorcycle industry is Lightning. The company was founded in 2006 and specializes in manufacturing the highest performing and most advanced electric motorcycles. Their Lightning LS218 model has a top speed of 200 miles per hour and could go from 0 to 60 in just 2.2 seconds. Their LS218 was the first electric motorcycle to beat gas-powered bikes at the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb Race. Not only are Lightning's bikes fast, but they're also eye-catching and sleek-looking. Alongside these electric motorcycle companies, major bike brands such as Ducati, Harley-Davidson, and BMW have started working on their own versions of the electric motorcycles. Harley-Davidson's Livewire, BMW's Motorrad Vision DC Roadster, and Ducati's Moto E are some promising models that can contribute a ton to the industry's success. Now, we're all familiar with the electric motorcycle's history and some major companies in the industry. Let's now discuss the future of electric motorcycles in depth and whether they can replace traditional gas-powered bikes. In 2020, the global electric motorcycle market was valued at $1,930,000,000 and is anticipated to reach $6,220,000,000 by 2026 with a compound annual growth rate of 19.36%. This is some serious growth that experts are predicting, 
But what could be the reasons for such a claim? The first major reason behind this expected growth is the increasing demand for a sustainable transportation. In recent times, people have started becoming more environmentally friendly and are looking for ways to reduce their carbon footprint. This has led to increasing demand for sustainable transport as gas engines have the highest carbon emissions, which could be easily avoided by using eco-friendly vehicles. To make electric motorcycles more functional and reliable, consistent research and technological advancements are being worked upon. The research and development team is currently working on improving the battery, and in the next five years, we can expect them to be more dynamic than ever. Now, these advanced technologies will help further substantiate the growth of the global electric motorcycle market. The 2020 pandemic heavily impacted the demand for electric motorcycles as well. During the pandemic, the manufacturing of vehicle components and original equipment manufacturer parts were halted. Due to this, the demand for electric motorcycles increased as people started considering them over conventional gas engine motorcycles. Moreover, between the years 2022 and 2026, the global electric motorcycle market will be experiencing a significant expansion in the dealer and distributor network. These dealers and distributors will be responsible for promoting the electric vehicle and its advantages to further grow the market. Lastly, the increased investments in the electric motorcycle industry by government and private bodies will lead to the growth of the global electric motorcycle market. Because of the rising demand and potential of the industry, government and private sectors have shown interest in funding future research and projects. These investments and favorable schemes by the government can help the electric motorcycle industry reach the forecasted worth of $6.2 billion by 2026. Well, that's all for today. Let me know in the comments section what you think about electric motorcycles and whether they'll become as successful as electric cars. Also, while you're there, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. Till then, have a nice day, and we'll see you in the next video.